So OpenAI has reduced this thing that they are calling chat GPT and that is what today's video is about. I want to understand how it works, where exactly it is and we'll run some few demo, should I say demo? We'll run some few tests with the AI system that they have released and then we'll check it out. And now I'll give my final thoughts on this chat GPT that they have brought out. Hi, my name is Paul, Trevenny44 is a brand and welcome to my channel. I create content on Python programming, machine learning, and general growth as a software engineer. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're interested in these things. Make sure to put on notification so that you don't miss out on anything. Now, let's get into the video. So first, I want to talk about what OpenAI is. OpenAI is an AI research and deployment company. And according to their own website, their mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. Now, they went on to explain artificial intelligence, artificial general intelligence as highly autonomous systems that outperform humans at most economically valuable work. So essentially, what OpenAI is, is a company that does research into artificial intelligence, artificial general intelligence. So they you know, study data and then they produce these models that aim to basically aid the whole human race. That is their goal. That is their mission. That is what they do. On November 30th, OpenAI announced this thing, this new language model that they are calling ChatGPT. Now, they, they describe the ChatGPT as a model that is able to interact in a conversational way. The dialogue format makes it possible for ChatGPT to answer follow-up questions, admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate requests. So essentially, it's kind of like someone you can go to for any information that you want literally anything i mean obviously not everything in the world but almost everything i mean that's a general idea behind the whole of chat gpt something that is intelligent enough to think and answer questions that you give to it so i could ask it to solve a math question for me or help me understand something help me simplify a certain paragraph these are the kind of things that they want to help us do so like I've already said, OpenAI as a research institution was able to come up with this chat GPT that is able to do all of these things that I just described. Now we are going to go into you know testing this chat GPT so that we would you know get conversant with it and understand how it actually works. If you want to try out the chat GPT yourself, you can go to OpenAI's own website. You have to create an account to do, but after creating accounts, you'll be able to test this out in beta on their own website for free without any charges. I'll leave a link to this in the description. So, as you all know, I'm interested in machine learning. So, the first question I asked this chat GPT is, have you heard of machine learning? He said that, yes, I've heard of machine learning. It's a method of teaching computers to learn from data without being explicitly programmed. It is done by providing the computer with a large amount of data and allowing it to find patterns and make predictions based on those patterns. Machine learning is rapidly growing field. It's a rapidly growing field that has many applications in a wide range of industries. Yes. You see how it was able to, you know, just answer the question like, have you heard of machine learning? Yes, I've heard of machine learning. And then it gave more information about machine learning. Like, that's just nice. You know, for me, it's just nice. So the second question that I asked it was this. I'm currently an undergraduate computer engineering student. What path should I follow to become so good at machine learning? And he said this to me. If you're an undergraduate computer engineering student and want to become proficient in machine learning, there are a few steps you can follow to get started. First, it is important to have strong foundation in computer science and mathematics. This will help you understand the underlying principles of machine learning and how it works. You should also learn about programming languages such as Python, which is commonly used in machine learning. In addition to gaining a strong foundation in the basics, you should also focus on learning about the different types of machine learning algorithms and when to use them. This will help you understand how to apply machine learning to real-world problems. You can learn about these algorithms through online courses, books, or by working on projects on your own. Finally, it is important to stay up to date with the latest developments in the field of machine learning. This can be done by attending conferences, workshops, webinars, and by reading articles and blog posts about the latest trends and techniques in machine learning. Like, the answers seem very genuine. It seems to be coming from someone who knows a lot about the field. Like, when I read it, let's assume that I, I didn't know I was chatting an AI and I'm thinking that the person is human. When I read this particular 
you know, output, the answer it has been given to me right now. I feel like it's a genuine answer coming to me and the person is trying to advise me. The person is very experienced in the field that he is telling me exactly what to do in order to become so good at machine learning. And this is just brilliant. Open AI, this is brilliant. I love this. And then my third question, this is what wowed me. How can I maintain a very good software engineering YouTube channel? I want a step-by-step -step guide. So it was able to give me a step-by-step -step guide. Like just look at the answer that is here. It's even numbered. If you want to maintain a successful software engineering channel, there are a few steps you can follow. Develop a clear focus of your channel. Determine what type of content you want to create and who your target audience is. This will help you create content that resonates with your viewers and keeps them coming back for more. Do you guys come back for more content on the channel? If you don't, don't forget, you should come back for more. And that is why you should definitely click on the subscribe button. Thanks. And the next thing, it says that what? Plan and organize your content. Create a schedule for releasing new videos and stick to it. This will help you stay consistent and build an audience of loyal viewers. Create high quality engaging content. Use high quality equipment to produce your videos and make sure the audio and visuals are clear and professional. Additionally, try to create content that is informative, interesting and entertaining. Promote your channel, share your videos on social media and, the online, and other pla online platforms and engage with your audience through comments and replies. Yes, you guys should definitely comment on this. Like, I want to know your views and thoughts about the chat GPT. Like, I'm really impressed with what's going on here. I want to hear something from you. I want to hear how you are seeing it. Have you tested it out? If you have not already, I'll leave a link in the description which will lead you to OpenAI's website where you can create an account and try it out yourself. But just look at the answers that are coming out from this. Like, even look at the last one. So well, monitor and analyze your performance. Use YouTube's analytics tools to track the performance of your videos and see what's working and what's not. This will help you improve and refine your content over time. Overall, maintaining a successful YouTube channel requires a combination of planning, hard work, and education. By following these steps and continually improving, you can build a successful channel and reach a wide audience. Wow. Like I said, anytime it gives back an answer, I feel like it's coming from an expert, someone who knows a lot in that field and knows what he's talking about. Like, you just know that this is exactly what I must do. You can't believe it. That's very interesting. Like, let's look at the, you know, like, I'll come and talk about the thoughts on this, but just look at the good aspect of this particular chat GPT, you know, model that they have built. Wow. Wow. Then there is this question that everyone is asking, everyone is just asking, would artificial intelligence eventually replace programmers? But then, this is the answer that the chat GPT is giving. It is unlikely that AI will replace programmers in the foreseeable future. While AI has the potential to automate some tasks that are currently performed by programmers, it is not capable of replacing the creativity and problem-solving abilities of human programmers. AI can be used to automate some routine tasks in software development such as writing code or debugging programs. However, these tasks will require a high level of human oversight and decision making to ensure that the code is correct and efficient. Additionally, AI is not capable of coming up with new ideas or solving complex problems in the same way that human programmers can. In the future, AI may be able to assist programmers in some of their tasks, but it's unlikely that it will completely replace them. The field of programming will continue to evolve, and programmers will need to adapt to new technologies and tools in order to stay competitive. So, Chat GPT does not believe that AI is actually going to replace programmers. But then, some people are saying that this is fishy. You know, that's exactly what someone who will replace you will tell you that I'm not going to replace you. <laughs> just think about it. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that AI is going to replace programmers, but just think about the whole idea of that. But the point I'm trying to make here is that this thing is giving answers. Like, it's an actual human being. Like, even though you know that you are chatting a, 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 something that's not real, you feel like the, the answer that you are getting is genuine and it's coming from a place of experience. Like, they know what they are talking about. And this chat GPT seems to know what you are talking about. Like, you can have an interesting conversation with this. I don't know if it has to do with, you know, asking... Um, asking questions about technical things. I don't know if you can have a normal conversation which is like, how are you doing? How are you doing? How was your day? You know, I want you to be my therapist. Can you help me out? Things like that. I don't know if it's possible to do this, but in terms of having knowledge and, you know, simplifying things for you, this is very good at doing that.
if you're interested in knowing how exactly OpenAI came up with this whole system, you know, they said that they use reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF. Hell, I don't know what that is. I mean, I've heard of reinforcement learning, but I don't know exactly what it is, like how exactly they applied it over here. If you do want to learn more about how this is done, you can check their website. There is this blog post about the chat GPT. I'm going to link that in the description below. So make sure to check that out and then read more about the thing. You should definitely try this thing out. I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it. Like, think about it. Personally, I think that chat GPT is a very good initiative. Like, from the answers that I received from it, I think it's a very good thing that they have brought up. Like, think of all the things that could be simplified by just asking chat GPT. Like, you could ask it questions, technical questions. Write this code for me. I don't know why this code is working. Like, even if you look at the um, example that they gave on the, in the article that they used to announce it, someone said, this code, does, this code is not working like I expect. How do I fix it? And it's able to, like, you know, reply that answer. It says that it's difficult to say it's not what is wrong with it without giving me any context. Like, it's talking to you like it's, it, it's alive. That's very interesting. Like, OpenAI has done a really great job, you know, with this. You know, this is what intrigues me about machine learning, AI, and all of the related fields. Like, they do things that are just, wow, like, exciting. Exciting. That's the word for it. Exciting. The way I see it, ChatGPT has a very, very, very um, good future. I think that it would have, it has a very good potential. I think that it would be able to help in a lot of ways, more ways than we actually know. Like, I don't know where exactly, how exactly OpenAI plans on using it or what exactly they want to use it for purposely, but the kind of, the way that it's able to answer questions, you know, important questions, it's a very great thing in the world that we live in right now. There is a whole lot of fuss about this. I mean, when it was released first, a lot of people think that if it's able to write code for you, like it's literally able to write code for you actually. Actually, let's test that out. So I just said, write a Python code to calculate age of a ship given a year. And it says, it wrote the Python code for me. It literally says that what? Ask the user for the current year. Current year equals to input, you know, enter the current year. Took the birth year, says that age equals to int of this minus int of this. And it said, print the age of the ship is, wow. Wow, right, like wow. It's able to do a lot of things. And for some reason, I think that this is a very good thing. And for another reason, I think that people might be against it because of the capacity, the, the things that it is capable of. But overall, generally, chat GPT is a very good thing, in my opinion. I don't see anything bad you know, in it. I don't see how it could possibly go wrong. I could only see you know, practical um, applications of it, very, the positive applications of it. This could be a place that students could come and ask for examples of certain topics that they learn in class, an in-depth explanation of it. Maybe the AI would explain it better. Like, these are things that we want this thing to be able to do. So guys, that's it for this video. I actually want to know what you guys think of the chat GPT. So if you've tried it out, if you've not tried it out, if this is your first time seeing this, I want you to still comment down below. Tell me what you think about the chat GPT. So guys, that's it for this video.